welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Today we are going to finish this beautiful looking structure of a mine building. So, to start off with, we should get more wood. Yeah, wood's probably important. We can convert this though so long. Um, so for that, we need a new shovel. Um, and, right, I was th thinking like, just make a new shovel because it's easiest. But then I thought, no, maybe because someone in the comments, right, was saying metal strips, which I had temporarily forgotten about. So, yeah, let's use some metal strips. Do we still have those? Where would we get those from? Um, we can do that, right? How many, how many do you get? Five, ten, because it's easy enough to make these now. Right, let's just, let's just do it. Just do it. We have a forge now. So, yay. <laughs> yay for the forge. And then we're going to take this shovel. In fact, we have a less damaged shovel. Let's go check that out. Because we want to repair... What a challenging doorway. Oh, hi! That is a really nice shovel. That one, why am I, where did that come from? Okay, fine. And then let's just leave some metal strips in here for future use. Oh, those aren't metal strips. Metal strips in here for future use. And then we can put away the lamb. Is this not lamb? Oh. Okay. And we can put away the chicken, of course. Yes, chicken. Fine. However it works, it works. Okay. And then we can put away the random book. And then we can put, oh, oh, you know what I noticed while I was, like, going through a video, like, to render and stuff, um, editing, and I put these in here, those don't go in there, those go in here, <laughs> I was like, what, because when I put it in there, I totally thought that that was a recipe book, and then I looked, and it was like, no, those are normal books, so glad we sorted that out. Um, I guess the rest of the stuff kind of goes back in the kitchen. Fine. Fine. Fair enough. What's the time, anyway? It's 10 o'clock. That's alright. And then we've got clay. And these rebar frames, we will... Yeah, there's gonna be a loot crate... <laughs> there's gonna be a loot crate drop soon, right? Um, okay. Okay, that's fine. Let's go outside, get more wood. That is a bit of a mission for today. And then we'll build again. I think it will be... Come on, <laughs> what a challenging doorway. I'm struggling with the doors today. Um, yeah, today we should finish the mine pretty much. Like, at least tonight. It's almost done, and I, I don't see why it would take any longer than... I mean, look at it, it's so beautiful. We just need to upgrade that side, finish the fourth wall. And... Yeah, put a roof on it. Oh, and then, which maybe we won't get to do today, make the actual entrance so we can hop on over. But, I mean, I, I don't see. Why not? We'll see how that goes. Oops. Okay. Right. Lots of nice tall trees here. Haven't really done this side. It's nice. Because otherwise we have to go so far in to actually find tall trees. Like that other bank. Not really worth the time anymore. Okay, there is a zombie approaching us. But I think we can... Yeah, it's pretty far enough. And then you get these, and it's like, should I dig this out? And then we think, no. No, let's not. Not today. What am I short on? Gravel. I'm short on gravel, not rock. Or small stones. We are going to need another club again soon. Oops. Okay, let's try hit him in the head again. Okay. And there was another down there. Okay. Just ignore them. Just get the wood. That is why we are here. The sooner we get wood, the sooner we can continue to work on our mine. I think maybe if we collect wood, depending on how it goes, 
until the loot crate is dropped, which will be in about an hour. And then we can get the loot crate, which will take about an hour. And then we can build. Yes. Yes. I think that's going to work. This guy will just keep following us. Maybe we should just kill him before he actually kills us. Okay, yeah, just because we destroyed grass, because we're worried about getting too close to him. There we go. Really don't need those books. I, I guess. We will use them one day, maybe. Probably not. We probably will never get around to using them. But just in case we do decide, we have them, you know. I wish you could place them. Like, on tables or cabinets and just place them there for decoration. That would be cool. But then it would be messy as well, so I'd probably still keep them away, so out of sight. For neatness sake. <laughs> ah, what a pain. You know what I haven't mentioned for a few episodes? That I used to mention every episode? <laughs> a chainsaw or auger. Yeah. I think we've given up on that. Maybe one day, when we least expect it, we'll open a car, and there it will be. Speaking about cars, they must introduce those soon as well. That would be amazing, driving from one side of the map to the other. But I guess when they have like randomly generated worlds, then a car would be especially amazing. Because then you can just take your car and go exploring. If you need food or something, you just drive the world. It would be like a series, like a TV series or a movie or something. That's what that would be like. That would be cool. Okay. How are we doing on the wood front? Yay. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, I know I skip a few trees. It's the small ones. I just like, no. I don't spend the time on those. I mean, they still give a fair amount of wood. I just, I like it when you get seven out of a tree. That one gave five. Good enough. I just don't want to use a whole bit of shovel to get only four pieces or three pieces or imagine only getting two pieces. So we'll just get as many as we possibly can from the tall trees. Do you think this will be right under? Yes, I didn't think it would be actually. Time check, ten minutes. Okay, ten minutes and then we're gonna go loot crate hunting and then when we get back, I'm excited to just get back and build. That is what I am looking forward to. But you see, I've learned I don't sprint from tree to tree now. I painfully walk slowly from tree to tree to save stamina. Okay, three minutes, so let's go get this tree. Let's run a little bit. It better not be glitchy, that would be upsetting. Okay. Okay. We're not gonna get this before 12. But we'll get it before it drops the loot crate, at least. There, it wasn't a glitchy tree. Fantastic. Okay, where is this plane? And there, fair enough. And there. Is that gonna drop in the lake? I think so. And that's also pretty much in the lake. Isn't it? Ish? Pretty much in the lake ish. Okay, we'll just go that way. I, uh, it's pretty much in the lake-ish. So that's fine. Let's take out a weapon. That's gonna drop, like, possibly right by our home, but now I've kind of lost this one here. Hopefully we find all three of those. I should have probably placed down some wood frame markers. It's okay. Okay, so it's gonna land about here. We're slightly surrounded by zombies. Let's cut down a tree. And when I say cut down a tree, I mean dig down a tree. While we wait. Whatever happened to sub biomes? Because I remember in an update they said with sub like there were sub biomes released. But all the biomes kinda look the same to me. Wow, my flashlight. I didn't realize I pressed F. It was struggling to press E, I know that. And then suddenly flashlight! It's okay. Yeah, like, is this a, I don't know, what's a sub-biome? Because they introduced them and I don't think I've ever seen one. 
Maybe they took them out. I don't know. Okay, there. Okay. Nice. Oh, is it gonna do the whole bouncing thing? That was really cool. I don't know why. I find that very cool. There's a lot of zombies in that area, actually. We were lucky to get out unnoticed fairly. Only when we left were they like, hey, a human. Now I'm so tempted to just leave that there forever because it's cool. But I worry I exit the game and then it goes. So we might as well collect it. Look at that. That's so cool. It's like right by our home. And there's the other one in the distance. Okay, well, let's get this. Let's see if we can make it land. Just because last time I said if I had a a wood frame, I would put it under it. So let's do that. Because I don't know why. For some reason I want to see this thing land. So we might as well. Okay, so we need one. And then we'll put it there. And then... Yes. Perfect. And we drank some water at the same time. See, that landed pretty cool. It's like all skew and stuff. <laughs> Very cool. And we got some cobblestone rocks. For an area that we want to be super strong. Okay. One more crate. I probably took a bit long during this day. No, in fact, we're still going to be finished all of this in an hour. So that is completely fine. Completely. Hopefully we finish it in an hour. All of them searched. And then we're right on schedule like we thought we would be. Okay. Here we go. <coughs> Fantastic. Best loot crate day ever. Let's go build. So it's making the wood frames, right? Yes. And then that's all we need. We've, we'll need more wood planks. But I'm pretty sure that we can finish this with the wood that we've collected. How exciting. That's so exciting. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's drink more water because we can. And then get right on to it. Okay. Let's close this door as well. I always worry that the zombie will spawn like up here and then that's just dangerous. Okay, right on schedule. Here we go. Let's build. I suppose if we... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's just place wood frames down, I guess. I suppose... Yes. Fine. Let's... Yeah, let's just get the wood frames down, then we've got the whole outline done, and then we just need to upgrade everything. And that will... I think it looks fantastic. Oh, wait. The inside's a bit of a problem, isn't it? <laughs> the lack of, um, cement. Slight problem. We can place maybe... Lack of, yeah, okay, it's okay. It's okay, we'll deal with that when we need to deal with that. So let's upgrade all this. And then add the lip, and then we at least know that zombies can't climb up. Because at the moment, they could climb up and then run along and then jump into our actual home. If they were that intelligent, and if they actually sensed that we existed in this area. But I think we're pretty safe. Very safe. We just crouch when they do their little run and never gonna have a problem hopefully hopefully okay here we go Lip. if we can get the outside I can't believe I just placed it there again if we can get the outside done then the inside with the concrete and cement and everything should be easier to do on the inside. Don't have to worry about night time so much. I don't know. Let's just do the outside because we can actually do that. And we should also convert some... Oh, we have a lot. Huh. Let's just leave it then. Let's just leave it for now then. We have 86 cobblestone rocks. Do we have more inside? I think we do. We can see how many strong <laughs> concrete things we can make with that. And if we can pray, if we can place them in appropriate places, we'll have to see. Okay, nice. This is looking good. 
Should we just jump down? And then how do we get back up? <laughs> Some things we didn't think through properly. Um, let's make the ramp. Let's make the ramp. Wood ramp frame. Or stairs. The ramp. Let's make one of each. We have enough material, I think. I hope. So this is the ramp. Let's have a look what that's going to look like. So we could either just run up a ramp or wood stairs. Oh, this actually makes four, which is totally worth the material more. Or stairs. Maybe stairs. You know where we could place stairs? Here. Yes. That looks nice. But then this would be stronger. See, all these decisions that we need to make. That's a bit not nice and unrealistic. The hollowness. These are just resting on air. Nope, there are really strong nails holding them up, so that's great. Can we just place that like that? Would that work? And then... Hmm... Hmm... I think... Okay, let's just... Can we pick this up once it's placed? Okay, what we're thinking, right, is if we place this... Here. And then you have a nice little thing going over. Which is not necessary, I realize. Oops. But just because it's not necessary. So we can either do this, and then you run up and over into the mine. Although maybe we should just... Hmm. See, you need to plan this carefully for some reason. Okay. We just want to make sure that happy with everything. Okay, if we were just to place that there over the water. Should, is that better? Should we just do that? And then you walk up. It's probably more discreet. And then you can walk on this whole area. Let's just do that for now. I, I, mm, it's fine. Let's do that. So this is how we are going to get up. Wait. Wait. Is there supposed to be a blueberry over there? Let's check this out quickly. Wow. So we're just... You only got one blueberry from that. And then we have to replant. Huh. Yeah, there's supposed to be a blueberry there. Which means that is only one wide. Which I suppose could work. This works fine. You know what? This is fine. It's fine. Let's... Ow! Let's... Okay, now we're never getting back up. We're stuck down here forever. Let's decide from... If we just... Find where we want to drop down from. So if we count one, two... We're just leaving that like that side. Yeah. One, two. Are we though? Hmm. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which means one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you come in from here. Does that make sense? If this is a hole. Which means that this is going to be... Oh, yes! Structural integrity. What a waste of my frames. Fine. Fine. Um, this should be fine. Oh, look at that. We're out of frames. Of course we are. Of course. Well, then we'll just have to make some more, won't we? We are going to need more for the roof anyway. So that is fine. We still have enough wood. Watch us now be short, like just like three frames or something because of that little whoopsie. Okay. One, two. 
So now, you climb down, there you are, in the center. And then we all have another, we can do a thing. <gasps> yes, we could do that! We totally... Hmm. Because this is the middle. And then we could close this up. And close this up. And make this storage. And make this mine entrance. Or we could just make the ladder against the wall over here. And have this whole place open plan. Which maybe isn't so bad. And maybe that's what we should do. Don't know why that never occurred to me before. Let's do that. I think... Oh no! As I did it! As I did it! Okay, it's okay. Totally fine. We have more wood frames over here and we can still make even more. So, this is what's happening now. At least we didn't lose them all. This is going to be the spot. And then on this side of it will be concrete. And on that side of it will be concrete. And this will be wood, and it will look cool. We could just make this out of concrete. One, two, three, four, five. Because we do have that much on us. And then we could, could make um, cool metal ladders. I realize that I just stopped. It's okay. Out of these, and then... Hmm, hmm, no... No, that's not necessary. Tell you what, this is what's happening now. <laughs> Decisions made, and probably took a few hours, but this is gonna be the way in and out. I suppose in the rare chance that a zombie actually gets in here, we won't make the ladder go to the floor. Or, like, maybe it spawns in here. We should place one of those land claim blocks. Okay. Fantastic, we still have one spare ladder. And then we can get in and out of the mine. Fine. Should we upgrade this as well? Are we happy with this? Let's leave it for now. Because it leaves chance to change it a little bit. Fine. Fine. Let's keep going. Let's keep on keeping on going. Okay. Well... We could work on the roof, or we can close these up. Let's close these up. How much we should probably... Hmm. What is the time? Maybe we should go and get more gravel, so we can put some nice powdered <laughs> concrete down. Maybe. Maybe. Let's first upgrade this. Just so the zombies can't see us as easily. I suppose it's not really the best time, 4 o'clock in the evening, to go and run off all the way to Gravetown. I don't like that area in the daytime, let alone when it, like, ever turned to nighttime. So, let's just stay inside for now. And we'll build, and then maybe tomorrow morning we can go. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's do that. Okay. At least it'll look good from the outside after today. That's gonna be good. That is a main selling point right there. Okay, when we finish this wall, we will... I can't believe I thought I messed that up. We will reanalyze what is happening in our lives. And consider ending the episode. Because it's probably time-ish. But, eh, now nah, there's enough. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's finish this. Let's do this. In fact, just because we like living a little bit dangerously in the game, let's do the top row so we can still see the zombies running at night, if, if it comes to that. Although I think it will probably be all finished by then anyway. But we'll see. We will see. It's <laughs> safer to have it closed up. But... It's nice to see them running away from us. And towards us, but then, like, splitting and not actually coming into our home. Yes. A 
if we just stay a little stealthy, he will go away. Okay. You know, maybe that doesn't need to be destroyed after all. Is he like right here? Okay, let's just shoot him. We can do that. Where is he? There. Missed, missed. Trying not to shoot my frames. There we go. And this one can die too. And that is all. Great. Um, what am I doing? Replacing the wood frames. That is what is going on. And I'm sure I was mid-sentence. Oh, probably thinking about how he was damaging that. I'm not sure if that's... But that's what I was thinking, anyway. That he was probably damaging... Oh, and, yes! If we just make this wall... Wood. It's not going to be wood, though, is it? It's going to be cement. At least the bottom two. Hmm. Hmm. Something to consider. Yes. Let's now do this bit here. This is the next best bit to do, I guess. You know what? We're going to seal it all up. Let's just seal it all up. If we we can leave a corner to see the zombies running away. And then they won't see us. Because this way, they would like see us running towards... Well, as they're running towards us. But at least if we leave a corner open like that way or there, they're running away. And then their backs are to us. So that's the safer thing to do. Let's do that. So let's finish this wall. Yes, this is good. This is a good plan. I approve, <laughs> I approve of this plan. Okay. And then, next episode, we are gonna, I think, pretty much finish this. This roof actually looks a bit huge, the ceiling. So, maybe we're gonna need more. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully we can finish with what we've got, but we'll have to see how that goes, really. Uh, let's do the middle so long. So yeah, that is the end of this episode. It's going to be... Um, so leave a like if you did enjoy this episode. And subscribe so as not to miss any future episodes. And then I will see you next episode. So thank you very much for watching.